sync, clap. Hey, broadcasting babies. Welcome to the new show on this channel. Two dudes watch YouTube. I'm here with my pal, Leslie. Just kidding. His name is Jacob, or the Ashbro if you're cultured. And today, I found uh, a, a YouTube channel by the name of Expert Village. And what it is, is it's a YouTube channel that has like a bunch of different like tutorial style videos. Like, you know what ones I'm talking about, right? Yeah. They have like a bunch of different things, everything from like how to bake a cake or how to find ticks on your dog. But how to find this channel has a little twist, a little twist on them. Little... So I have four videos for my boy Jacob to see. I've watched them. He has not seen them yet. So oh, he... okay. <laughs> okay. He's going in blind. I am not. So not the blind. first one we have here is ladies hats for brunch events and activities. Colon lifestyle and social skills. So let's check it out. Hi, I'm Terry Ewing here as your etiquette lifestyle expert talking about ladies' hats for brunch events or special activities. I'm here with Vernell Washington. Who wears that to brunch? Who who goes <laughs> who goes to brunch? I don't know, like <laughs> bro. Brunch was like a thing that was, it was like a very brief thing where like it's not really breakfast, it's not really lunch. It's brunch. It's a it's, it's a, a joke, joke, bro. It's like no. No one actually goes to brunch. No. And if you do go to brunch, you certainly do not wear that. You, you, you don't wear that. It's not Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, if you, if you saw these people walk up to your house and dress like that on Halloween, what would you assume they're dressed as? Like, what do you think their costume is? Hookers? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, classy ones? What do you want? No. What do you want? What do you want? Okay. Bleed. Ever seen a grown man? I'm going to continue now. Okay. Tell us for now, what type of hats are good to wear at the Kentucky Derby? The ugly ones. I'm just kidding. That hat, that brown hat is actually probably the only one I could ever see anyone wearing. Legitimately. Okay. The bigger, the better, the taller, the better. Uh, just your imagination has to run wild for the Kentucky Derby. Um, but some women do do the smaller... She's Look at the size of her ring. Look at the size of her ring. Look at that necklace. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, who's Yo. wearing gold flowers? Yo! <laughs> Lil Pump is... That's Lil Pump's mom. <laughs> that's, that's a whole new level of ice. What has become popular... You know what that looks like? That is not a hat. That looks like one of those tubes that you crawl through when you're like a little kid. And you like twist it up and it folds down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like one of those little... Fold up play <laughs> Like it looks like you just fold that up and she can just crawl right through. <laughs> this, this is like This no. is this is the most normal video out of the four that I have. Okay. I don't know if you want to finish this or just go to the next one, but Do you wanna go to the next one? I think we should go to the next one. Okay. The next one is Wicca and Paganism. How to convert to Wicca. Just in case you guys don't know, Wicca is like witchcraft. This lady thinks she's a witch, basically. Mm. Yeah. Hello, my name is Sandra Cheryl Richardson. I'm a Wiccan high priestess here at Celestial Treasures, a beautiful store in Coconut Grove, Florida. Of course, it's in Florida. Where else would it be? Oh my God! <laughs> Where else would it be? <laughs> All the weird stuff is in Florida. I, I don't know if you guys done this thing in the past where you like look up your birthday. And then, like, Florida right afterwards, like, from the date where Florida happened. Man. Yeah. Yeah. So, I think on my birthday, it was, like, a naked guy broke into a library and just, like, started just stealing books. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 try, I tried doing that, and it didn't bring up anything interesting. It just said, people are looking up Florida, man. And I'm like, yeah, well, that's what I want to do, but now I just get your crappy article. In this clip, we're going to talk about how to convert to Wicca. If you decide that you would like to convert to the Wiccan religion, basically all you have to do is make the decision that this is the path that you want to follow. If you want to convert to Wicca, you have just, to just, just convert. Just convert. It's that easy. That's all you have to do. If you want to build a jet, 
just build a jet. If you want to die, kill yourself. Because you had a bad day. You take it one down. You sing a sad song just to turn it around. <laughs> words to live by. Are they, are they words to live by? <laughs> They're words to live by. You take it one down. You sing a sad song just to turn it around. Another way that you can do this is to seek out a reputable coven and request the presence of the gods through the ritual known as Wiccaning. In the ritual of Wiccaning, a priest or priestess will perform this ritual and present you to the gods and officially allow you to feel comfortable proclaiming yourself to be a Wiccan. So what she's saying there is, is you're not allowed to feel comfortable being a part of the Wiccan religion unless that happens. So if I'm, if I'm like full on, like, I am Wiccan, I'm not allowed to be like... You're not allowed to be like, yeah, yeah I feel you're like, being Wiccan. You're uncomfortably Wiccan. <laughs> I'm uncomfortably <laughs> Wiccan. That's the people who don't make it in. Yeah, they're just <laughs> like, so I'm kind of a witch, maybe. <laughs> so you just feel uncomfortable it's all like, the time. Yeah, it's, it's like, like, it's like the, the one gay guy who, like, hasn't come out, but, like, you know. So he's like, he's just... Just the one, the gay guy who comes out, he's like, yeah, I'm James Charles. But then there's the one who's like, I mean, yeah, I mean, I like guys. I like cats. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> no, I'm not with Shane Dawson. Oh. <laughs> for a while, he's like, okay. I got it. You will find that Wicca is the fastest growing religion in America. Can I get the facts on that? That is the lead... <laughs> Well, actually, to be fair, to be actually no, to be fair, what other religions are really growing in America? Christianity, probably the only. I feel one. Like, I feel like that's not growing though. I feel like America is just over. Christian. Yeah. And then there's just like, so I don't know. Maybe Satanism. she's right. Maybe she's right. But witches do not proselytize, so don't expect to see a black garb, pointy-hatted person knocking on your door anytime soon. And again, this is Sandra Cheryl Richardson on how to convert to Wicca and Celestial Treasures. She I, think I, I think I'm ready to convert to Wicca. She was okay. It is the fastest growing religion in America. Wait, did you look it up? Yeah, I looked it up. According to the Statesman and Elizabeth Wynn claims, the two most recent American religious identification survey, surveys declare Wicca one form of paganism as the fastest growing spiritual identification in America. That's retarded. Sign <laughs> me like, up. That's offensive. How dare you? What? I'm gonna use my wicked yeah. powers to banish yeah. you I'm gonna, to the spirit realm. I'm gonna wick you. Okay, Hogwarts, let's go to the next All right, video. Next one. Goth clothing and oh, lifestyle. No. Romantic goth oh, history. How much dyed hair are we gonna see? Only a little. Oh. Actually? No, I'm, this is like old school goth. Oh, this, oh, video, goth. this video is from like 10 years ago. Okay, so like 2000s. Yeah. Hey, this is Jet at Vampire Freaks in New York City. In this clip, we're going to talk about the romantic history of goth. Now, there's the romantic fashion, which is kind of the Victorian, more traditional, old school goth. But there's also kind of the romantic aspect of goths in that... Um, look at the look in this guy's eyes, dude. Look at him. He's not into it. He's just... He he's doing really it. likes her. And she is hardcore into it. Look at her face. And, She's grinning. And he, and he decided and to make this tutorial. He's like, that'll win her over. For sure. Yeah. He's just like going along with it just so he could be with her. Well, I wish him luck. I, know, <laughs> I wish you luck, my guy, but actually, I don't, I don't know, know if that's the one. In terms of people hooking up and, you know, between. Uh, it can be like a man and a woman, or it doesn't even have to be a traditional relationship. Very times there's very non traditional relationships. He's trying so hard not to say gay. <laughs> he's like, he's like, you know, you can have a traditional relationship, or it's a man and a woman, or like you could not do a man and a woman, but like you could have like an untraditional one, you know, like one that isn't like a man or a woman. This is the guy who's not comfortable with being gay. With what we were talking about a few minutes ago, yeah. comfortable it's all like, the time. Yeah, it's, it's like, like it's like the the one gay guy who like hasn't come out but like you know uh it can be like a man and a woman or it doesn't even have to be a traditional relationship but then there's the one who's like i mean yeah i mean 
It doesn't even have to be a traditional relationship. There are many different places where gothic people can meet and start a romance. A good example is gothicmatch.com. It's a I want to sign up for that. Who goes to this site? I do. I do. Religiously. You do. You will. Like, real, okay. This just triggers, who realistically go? who's looking for a 16 year old? Ooh, wait, 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 wait. 16, 245. That shocks me. Cause like, okay, what if you're 16? Then yeah, who's looking for a 16 to a 45 year old? In, the, in Florida. 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 <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Why Florida? Traditional dating website where you have profiles and you can meet a man or a woman. Um, a good example is um, I had a couple in the store who met on VampireFreaks.com several years ago. They became pen pals. They met and they fell in love and they got married. Yeah, actually, uh, I hear about people all the time meeting on the Vampire Freaks site and they meet like their boyfriend or girlfriend, they get married, sometimes they even have kids together, and it's pretty neat. No, you don't. No, he doesn't. Nobody, nobody actually uses that site. Uh, no, you know who uses that site? <laughs> These two. That's how they find <laughs> each other. <laughs> no, but, no a, but they used it after they were already married. They're having a pina colada situation on the site. <laughs> <laughs> now, the last one, in my opinion, is oh, I think the strangest. It's how dating advice. How to date a nerd. What's in a name? How to date a nerd. This is Dr. Paul, author of Boomer Girls, a boomer woman's guide to men and dating, and host of Ask Dr. Paul. Be careful about your definitions. There is a very well-known quote-unquote nerd who said, I was called a nerd in high school and college and Many of those people who called me that are now my employees. What nerd grows up and it lives there? What nerd no, you know grows what up you and has a rotary tel telephone? No. no, you know what it is? This guy was called a nerd when he was in school. And now, and now and he's now, just a little bit successful. Yeah, now that's what it was. He, this is him internalizing it and he's just finally laying out. I said, you guys call me a nerd? I want me so mad at me. Or, or not at me. <laughs> Tend to be very successful, by the way. So he's definitely. Yeah, I make fifty k a year. He's definitely. Yeah. This is definitely. He's definitely talking about himself. Like before, it was just a hunch. Now it's for sure. He's like, now they're my employees, <laughs> and I. I mean, they tend to be very successful. Uh, you know, like ladies. How do you date a nerd? Get right past that definition. Get right past what you think is quote unquote a nerd, because that is the definition that people give who are jealous. That's it, that's his way of coping. He's like, There's, they just call me a nerd because they're, they're jealous. They're jealous of my GPA. They're not as successful in their grades as this person. They're not ex as successful in their field of endeavor as this person. So they label them nerd. Oh, he's a nerd. Guess what? That nerd may be your employer one day. So how to date a nerd, like anyone else, look to the person, get past the definition, and talk to the person. His whole entire message is, don't focus on stereotypes. There's... Oh, People yeah. are going to do that regardless. Oh, yeah. Glasses. <laughs> and they're like, haha, nerd, you wear glasses. <laughs> I'm not a nerd! I'm not a nerd! We're not talking about a savant here, we're talking about someone who is capable in all areas and who is, by definition, by some people, a quote-unquote nerd. So when you get by that, understand the human being there, because there is a human being there. Be as courteous to that person as you would be to someone that you don't define like that. This is Dr. Paul. May your fantasies of today be your realities of tomorrow. No one Dr. Thinks. Paul. No. Doctor of love making and children making. So yeah, those were all the videos that we had. Close the door. Those were the videos we had. I had Ashbrook react to them. How? What was your favorite one, Ashbrook? Probably the probably the um the hats one. The hat one or.
I like the last one. Oh, Thanks for coming to watch the video. Leave a like, become a subscriber. No, become a, a broadcasting baby. <laughs> and we'll see you next time in Two Guys Watch a Video. Goodbye, you subscribers. Next time we'll have a Twizzler.